yeah, let's continue with the assemble process. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll begin with this part, this little fellow, and uh, put that in. You can only sit in one position. There is a, a pin here, and there is a guide hole down there. It will say this, this hole here, the two screws, I mean, the, <laughs> there's one screw sit there and the other there. So let's put it in. It has to sit correct. It will mean in that way. So there, I found out that um, the two screws, uh, you should not uh, tighten them yet, because there is another spring over here that can be uh, pretty annoying. So we just loosen it a little. So this one has to be loose, and the other screw, which is non-magnetic, um, has to be put in here. So, and that in. Don't tighten it. I mean, you can tighten it and then loosen it a little. So this uh, part has to be a little loose in a way, as you can see, because then it will be so much easier to put in the screw with the two double spring here and the XMM uh, lever here has to be all the way over to here. Now it will be a lot easier. Then I can add one spring. This is the most annoying, as you can see here. And uh, with the help from a dentist tool and a dented tweezer, which make it, in my opinion, a lot easier. So put it on here and do it in that way so it stays there. And with a little screwdriver, uh, we can hopefully put it into place so it stays there. And because of this uh, part here is a bit uh, loose, we can actually lift it up a little. So it, ah, maybe it's too much, but we can just tighten the screw a little more. So it sits against, I would say it sits against uh, this part here, the corner here up here. So the, the hole is actually fully open because then it will be much easier to put the other screw in with the spring here. And again, a dented tweezer, uh, which I found out was much more easier. Uh, to actually put in because it was pretty annoying to put in at first. So have it like this. The spring has to sit, if we look at here, it has to be on that side here, on that pin, not on the other. Because if you just put it in and you think you can lift it over? Nah, not the best way. So let's see. I tried sometimes, but I mean, I give it some goes, but it was pretty not that easy to put in. 
So hopefully it will work. So we can put it in that way. <laughs> so you see I hold the tweezer and then I know it it is difficult to put in but that's just how I see it And then you just add the spring down there. So this spring also sits and the XMM lever is working as it should. Now add the spring over to to the where it has to sit on this pin here. So it rub against the I mean it's actually the, the closing spring here. So we can see it or it works as it should. Mm, yeah. So now I then can tighten this part. As it should and the other screw too. So hopefully it run it will run better yeah so it's really good so that's uh, the I mean some of the eh, annoying problems so next thing is the um, we can add this part here which sits down here so, and it has to sit there. Now, next thing is the uh, this part here goes on the on that pin here. It's a bit tricky to put in because it has its own life, kind of, <laughs> and um, so you see you can uh, actually take some of the tension away when you put in this part we can take a little of the tension of the spring then take care of the flash contact so you see in that way we can hopefully add it over the axle So that way, I know it's a bit tricky to put on, but you can see it is it is possible. Now the next thing is the uh, this part here, and again I figure out how the little spring, I mean one end of the spring here, this where you can see the other side. It is, uh, yeah, you can see how it's put on. We put it over this axle here. And we do not add, uh, <laughs> I put not, I put not the spring in on that side yet because it's easier afterward. So we do this. And yeah, I I made two different versions of this because I think okay, I will try the one or the other. To just put this on here, he not that easy. So there, and it sits where it should. Now I can move this lever here. And 
do this then move this as much as possible and with a yeah then I have to lift it up a little as I remember or I could just move this uh, part underneath and in that way do something like that hold it there and with a hopefully a screwdriver see this spring has to come over there then hmm, not that easy so because it has to go around this part here so uh, when it's put in correct then we can do so so this is also alive <coughs> it's just my opinion uh, it could be wrong but I think it looks like it uh, it was actually working and then we can add this screw onto that place here and tighten it now next part is the flash uh, I think it's called flash flash contact uh, bar or something like that we can add it here and put that on and this uh, this little fellow has to sit on this side then we can I mean this uh, little here has to sit on yeah I think you get it this little pin here and it actually in my case, in this uh, lens, this shutter, this screw was actually loose. I mean, really loose. So the screw was almost falling off, more falling out. But I tightened it yet, it again. So now we can put this on. Here, there, and lower it over. And of course this pin here this pin has to be free on this side so we can lower it so now it works <laughs> yeah it was a bit challenged so this spring with the funny shape has to go on here and again You see the short end here it will be this end here has to sit on this side I mean the other side here of the uh, of its this uh, lever here and the other end I will show you so when we put it on Make sure the the short end of this spring go on the correct side. It will say on the there and behind. So there. Here we go. is pretty annoying with a magnetized screwdriver <laughs> so so now it has to sit there yeah it fall off <laughs> we try again not easy those uh, tiny springs here uh, then I can add the load my screwdriver and again 
be really aware of uh, you see this screwdriver here I mean <laughs> blah the screw itself the screw is a little special because the the spring has to sit correct here and if you just tighten it the spring maybe is not sit proper and uh, I think we can hopefully make it so and then add the spring there mm -hmm. so it sits I mean now I can screw it in but uh, if we look carefully you can see if I just tighten the screw the spring will not sit correct so then I have to push it to place hopefully uh, it took me some time to get it into correct place and a pointy tool whatsoever it is is good that way then hopefully I can put it on you maybe have to move the screwdriver I mean the screw a little back and forth to hopefully proper align it proper I mean to me it was a little tricky and it doesn't sit quite right yet I know it's difficult to see because if it tighten the screwdriver the screw too much this level will not be able to work I mean move <clears throat> it's a pretty annoying mm -hmm. even with special screws and screwdrivers and tweezers and it's I think this screw is really not the most easy and it should sit correct if not it will not work Hmm. So you can see it's not that easy. And it could be I do it wrong. So I can try to put the spring into correct place. lot of dentist tools is really good for that kind of work you can see it, it's really a problem here because the spring <laughs> so we try again it's not the And we can screw it even more out. It's because one end has to sit on this side. 
so there and then the spring uh, maybe it's just so much easier in that way Still not correct. Well, it, it works early. So, yeah. Here it is. So now it seems to be working as it should. So I can continue with the um, with this part, the lever, and put that on. One spring, it will say this here. This spring has to go on that lever here so we put it on and make sure the this spring here has to sit there and then we can uh, put this into place so it works as it should the next fellow is this little one and uh, it also has to sit correct. One end of the spring will sit there. The other end this can be a little tricky so we put it on that way. And where's my tweezer here? Then we can try to put this uh, spring on, grab it, and try to put it underneath one end of the other. Now swing it out. So and it sits correct. So both uh, spring, end of springs has to sit here from both this one and this one. Now, hopefully things will work. <laughs> um, then this uh, fellow has to go on and it sits here on the flash sink and, uh, sink See, it works together with the with the lever for the XM. 
so you can see here how it should work and then we will add this uh, funny shape spring it has to go on one end here on this side and of course on, on top of the this uh, part then lower it and it has to go around this post here so uh, just have it there and then add the spring so it sit not a, uh, on the lower part but there is a kind of a recess so it has to go all the way up to where it sits correct let's see if it's yeah there is a little recess so it has to sit like this into place so and it sits correct so put the spring over so it sits uh, correct here now the top of the flash sink has to go on here oh gosh and it has to sit correct here so there and then it will sit correct put on the little screw going a little backward to f catch the thread sometimes it can be a little tricky Tighten it good. We're almost there. Now, this part here, you see there, it has to sit on this post here. And the, the spring here that came from the flash synchronized uh, gear will go on to that side that side of this uh, pin here so we can lower it maybe I should have put that on earlier but I think it will work anyway so now now it has to go a little lower that has to sit all the way over here and then it will say it has to sit over all the way over here and this end of the funny shaped spring has to sit uh, let's see if we can make it this one has to be So there, and uh, then add the spring out to there, where it should sit correct in that little notch here, so it will not fall out. So it will work like this. So now that was uh, most of it, not that easy, and uh, then I can add the, I think it's best to add this part here, that's part of the gear, uh, the cooking gear, 
and it has to sit in here that way and it also has a spring I mean <laughs> we have to do something do some lubrication so I already because I've already been through the whole process uh, so I will just add a very tiny amount around this axle here and also uh, which is also important I will also add some loop on this uh, the gear for the cocking that's connected to the cocking ring so I already loop it but it doesn't have to be much so I add some liquid molly LM47 in my opinion a good grease for that and also on the, the side of the this uh, this part here you can see I already loop uh, add some grease here which will be fine and maybe I should also add some a tiny amount of grease here because is that the part that goes against the the shutter uh, the ring for the shutter down here doesn't have to be much and uh, so that's all fine maybe somebody else would like to use some some uh, lithium grease but I think the liquid molly works absolutely great then lower this part down here so it's all fine and uh, we can also add the spring but hold on I will wait a second to add the tension I can add the spring here there are two ends of course the short end will go on to the lowest it will say it will go to here this part here I mean that end of um, down here and the other end will go on to here this part so I can add it yeah I can I can actually add the tension to the spring there's no problem so with a dented tweezer which I think works best for this um, I'll just try to put it on here and there's pretty much tension on this spring so this way and e so much tension on it <clears throat> so Whew. now that's it fine so now this is actually working as it should oh nah well I cannot move it with the tweezer here So now I can add the gear, the slow gear, <laughs> um, and I already clean and uh, make it working good. So I add a little, a tiny amount of oil, uh, very fine oil, I mean clock oil, on this, 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 and this, and. Um, also on the other side where it needed there 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 so it works pretty good and you just add it and just wipe it away again on both sides doesn't have to be much less is better so now there is a guide pin here this is actually the screw that hold the this assembly together this screw will go on to 
uh, this hole here. So uh, you can just put it on. I uh, when I add it, I know there is some uh, experience. I mean, you have to move the this uh, part here by pulling this, and you can actually before you put it on pull this and then uh, move this part here if it's possible or we could do it in another way pull this and also at the same time pull this should be possible hold on a second See, we do it that way. So I take the tension of the gear, and I mean the timing gear, by press this and then do this because then there is much more uh, space to put it in correct. There. Do this and that. This. And hopefully, hmm. not that easy. Maybe it's just easier. I don't know if I do it in that way. <laughs> not easy to show on camera. So, this. Yeah, it was uh, easier to add it in that way. So now it sits, uh, kind of. So I can add the one end of the, I mean, that screw that sits here with the little spring on. So, and of course it has to sit correct say one on the end of the spring has to go through the little gap here it's just so we have more control of the the gear don't tighten it yet and So then I can add the other spring that sits in here. And we probably also have to adjust the, the timing. one have to move the now so now things seem to be correct assembly haha -ha. then the uh, the lever for when you have cocked the shutter uh, then it's possible to open the shutter uh, I think I can tighten the the screw no maybe not yet I have to make some adjustment and it goes as I understand it goes on this side of that pin here so when the shutter is cut uh, we can fully open the the, the shutter blades and uh, so when we add it, see it has to go in here, then I um, need to put this on here. 
which was, as I remember, not that easy. The spring has to go there. And there is a lot of tension on this bloody spring. So it's better to put it on here. And then add it to one side of the the see there is also a guide pin in that gap here so then one can hopefully holding down here and pull it into place then tighten this screw not too much of course and then we are here so it's not really possible at the moment to move this lever because the shutter is not cocked. So uh, by adding the the cocking ring, and uh, be aware of that that pin here, this tiny pin here, has to be um, on that side of this lever. Here. If it's on the other side, you is it will you will not be able to cock the shutter. So it has to be on this side. So by adding the spring on the post here, so like that, then add the cocking ring. It's not fully on yet. So by having like this, we can turn it uh, hopefully. There's something ah uh, yeah. Make sure of the little piece of metal here. I have to go all the way over so there is a little tension onto the spring there cannot go any further see there so then I can uh, hopefully we can see what's going on here you see the pin has to be on this side of the little pins I pin I mentioned before so it will look like this Hopefully you can see it. So it works like that way. Then things <laughs> hopefully should work. Then I can add the gear. I mean the cooking gear here. Which I also add some uh, LM47. So add it and uh, of course it has to sit correct and it will say something like that here so it sits like that so now let's see if I can cock the shutter by pressing to here, uh, hopefully, yeah, of course my fingers in in a way, and uh, if I add the the timing ring, this section here is for that pin here, so it has to sit like that. So will you lower it? Maybe you move it a little back and forth just to put it into the correct place. Now let's see if it will work. Wow, very snappy. As it should be, we can put it up to 500. Whoa. So now we, I can actually try to cock the shutter, open the blade, and 
close it again and then uh, fire the shutter. Or I could open it, fire the shutter, and then click here and it will fire again. Haha! -ha. So the thing is working as it should. So let's see how one second is. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. I mean, to me, it's one second. So we can just take, take a look in here and see how things are actually assembled. Um, I had some problems with, just let's get through it. I had some problem with this spring here. The two springs that sits underneath here uh, with the little screw. Uh, if you really have to be aware of that. And um, I didn't have any problem with the sink, uh, the flash sink. Uh, which is, if we try to put it into place. We'll see how it will act. And um, we can try to cut the shutter. And then put it to X. I'm not so sure about the uh, flash uh, sync function. But I think it it uh, should work. As I understand, because I mean everything is uh, proper put together as I see it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hopefully, um, it can help somebody out there. I'll just let it be as it is. There are, I mean, room for improvement. I'll just put the, the the shutter ring, I mean exposure ring on and uh, let's see where is it this ring here for the aperture and uh, put it on here. and lower it for the little screw. So, and there is also a, a, a guide hole. You can just see that. See that little hole here. I also have a um, guide pin over here. And I think it looks like there is also over one over here because there is another guide pin hole over here. So, but it can only sit in one position. So, then add the aperture ring and hopefully, yeah, you hopefully can see in here this little pin here goes through the hole and the other one that is over here. So it's correct, put on. Then I can add the dented uh, ring here. And it doesn't have to be too tight, of course. Have a feeling of uh, there is a good resistance, not too much of course. I think it will be fine for now. It doesn't have to be too tight of course. So one can have it there. 
then I can uh, turn this not so good shape screw so something like that now let's see what will uh, happen oh fully open the It sounds really good to me. Now, then I can uh, simply unscrew this from the plate. The plate is here is really good. It's a good uh, thing to me. It's actually fine. Then I will just uh, put the front lens screw on here. And of course the little screw. It's uh, a tiny one. Don't tighten it too much. It's just a tiny one. Then add the back lens screw here. click to place and tighten it good and also the front <coughs> that's it uh, for this lens uh, I mean this uh, shutter let's see if it will work on B yeah and one second. Wow, there's no self timer in here, so uh, there's no need for that. So it's all fine. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you can use the info in this video about this uh, old shutter. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to disassemble it and um, put it back in. I mean, to come into the shutter blades uh, because the repair manual, yeah, it tells something, but not everything. So that was all for me. Hope you can use the info. That's all. Bye bye.